So I just got really annoyed with something about my new keyboard that I just got. You can't actually reprogram any of the keys on this keyboard without using this thing called the VIA app, which I've never used before. So I try using the documentation that came with my keyboard to go to this URL, useVIA.app, asks me to authorize my device. I do that and nothing happens. I don't know about you, I get unreasonably angry and frustrated when issues like this crop up and there's little to no documentation to explain what to do. So hopefully this video helps you out. Essentially what I had to do was go to the manufacturer's website, in my case it was wobkey.com, to get the JSON files for the keyboard. And then here's what you do once you have your JSON file prepared. You open useVIA.app again, you go to settings, and you check show design tab. What that'll do is it'll provide you a new tab at the top. If you go there, you scroll down, you find draft definitions, and you load that JSON file into draft definitions. And once you've done that, go back up to the top, load draft definition, load that JSON file you just opened, and you should by now see that the layout of the keyboard on your screen is now matching your actual keyboard. So go back to the configure tab now, reauthorize your device, and it should work. Now this is just what worked for me. I don't know if this will work for everyone, and specifically with any keyboard manufacturer. I don't, I don't know if the process would be different, but I just thought it was kind of ridiculous that I didn't see a single video, Reddit post, or anything talking about how to get around this issue. So I, I pieced a couple bits of information that I found, a few nuggets of information I found across the internet. But yeah, hopefully this helped you, uh, and that's 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 pretty much it. Bye.